Don, it seemed like in the past uh, with UConn, it maybe was always a measuring stick of how close you guys were to being a championship team. You won your championship. So does that change the dynamic of this matchup at all? Um, you know, I, no. I think uh, when you're over against a team, you want to win. And that's the approach that we're going to take into, you know, trying to get one on UConn, um, which is a, a, a real difficult feat, but it's one that, you know, we got to keep liking our chances with the amount of time and the amount of times that we've we've played them. Don, this is kind of a combination question just because we have to, but has it been really hard to focus on this game? I mean, usually all the talk has been about UConn, but you're kind of having to deal with both right now. I'm a master card part mentalist. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm a master at it. You know, I think, you know, anytime that you have to deal with distractions, you deal with them and you, you prioritize. And the priority right now is UConn. And that's been my focus. Did I lose a little sleep last night? Yes. Yes, obviously, but, you know, there's another game to be played. I, I'm responsible for, you know, 12 individuals that want to that wanna beat UConn. So I have to get my mind right to prep to help them get ready to, you know, try to win a game. Don, how are Kiki and Lindsey? Uh, Kiki's, Kiki went the full practice. Lindsey is, you know, ramping up what she can do, but she won't play. Obviously, uh, last time at UConn, you had Elena and, and Asia down there in the post, and there was that good 18-minute stretch. Do you think Kiki or, or somebody else could come in, maybe Lily, and, and kind of fill that role and try to play that same way that you did last year? Um, you know, we probably we, we did a little bit something different last year. We just took the air out of the ball um, and tried to uh, limit the amount of possessions UConn um, got in a particular game. You know, I think this year we just, we're just going to play our style of play we're going to see if we can just pressure the ball, disrupt a little bit, you know, take our time and execute offensively and see where that, that leads us. And also just, you know, our crowd. We're expecting a big crowd, and hopefully we can, you know, get energized by what they bring into the building. Don, a couple of questions. Um, you, you mentioned not getting uh, much sleep. Have you lost any sleep thinking back over those past UConn games and what is it going to take to um, get over the hump and also – Playing um, a game like you did against Missouri, the benefit for your younger players, um, a very electric atmosphere against a very tough team, how that will help them against UConn? Um, you know, I think with, with UConn, you know, you, you, you have to pick your poison, you know, because they're good, you know, at all five positions on the floor. Um, and, you know, the poison is 58 uh, percent. Free, uh, 58 percent field goal shooter or 55, you know that you know the odds are you know they're equally as as good. I think what's most important is you know our our approach. We we have to believe that we can win the game and our style of play. Um, I, we got a young team, you know they only they only know one way of playing, <laughs> and that's just all out giving effort, and that's that's the route that we're going to go. Um, you know, I, I do think we have an advantage in the inside, and we got to utilize that. And we got to, you know, try to feed our post players um, as many, get them as many touches that, that they can get. And I just don't think you can beat a UConn team by just twoing them. You, you gotta, you gotta hit some outside shots. You gotta hit some threes in order for you to, in order for you to beat them. So those are some concentration areas, and you know, uh, our players playing in the game like Missouri, Missouri style of play. Is somewhat similar to uh, UConn in that they have a lot of ball movement. They move well without the ball, so it's a, it was a prelude to um, playing a, a team like UConn that you know it's it's a well-oiled machine when it comes from what they do from an offensive standpoint. You coach Azare for U U19. What what does she bring to this UConn team? What how, game playing with her as coming off the bench? How has she changed them? Um, I mean, she's a much more efficient basketball player. Um, you know, part of it is she's not shooting as many threes. Um, so a lot of her uh, scoring is in the paint or, or um, 15 footers or, or layups. Um, so, and she's 6'6. Six, six. You know, I was, I, I was liking her out there stretching the floor around and shooting uh, 30 footers when she was with Duke. And, you know, occasionally she would go down and bang a little bit in the block. But, and she gives them a, another double digit. She gives them a shot blocker. She gives them, you know, another body because usually they don't they only play, 
you know, six or seven. But, you know, you add another All-American like, like um, Azur Ray, you know, it only enhances their team. Don, have you talked with Gino about Team USA? I mean, obviously you worked with him in, in 16, but have you talked to him about the differences about now being in the head chair? And, and how's y'all's relationship on that topic? Yeah, no, I, I haven't really talked to Gino um, about anything. I, You know, for me, I, I like to, you know, put my own imprint on it. Um, you know, obviously, you know, later on down the road, I, you know, I like to sit down with him as well as Ann Donovan, as well as Tara Vanderveer about some of the things that they, you know, had to deal with, you know, in, in coaching at this level. Don, I know you said before the season this series was going to continue. Have you guys kind of finalized? Is it another home and home coming up the next couple of years? Um, I, I believe so. I don't think this is. It started up there. It ends here. You know, I, I want to continue it. Um, I think as long as we're, you know, as competitive. Yeah, I know they like to play um, a competitive non-conference schedule, and you know, I, I think we'll be competitive for, you know, for a very long time. Coach, with the number of younger players that you have on the team, um, can you discuss, I guess, the attention to detail you have to explain to them in terms of, you know, being in a game like this, being in a game against the top ranked team in the country and what it takes to come away with a win in that situation? I mean, it, that's hard because, you know, young people, they don't get the details until maybe their sophomore and junior years. Um, so you have to, you, you definitely have to go over things a number of times. And even, you know, in the game, you know, they'll, they'll forget. Uh, what I want from our young players is is to do what they do best, you know. And sometimes that's forgetting, you know, the the details. But you know, if you if you're gonna instinctively play your game, play your game. I, you, you can't you can't go against what someone does instinctively. And I, I want our young kids to play off their instincts um, because that's what comes natural to them.